Hi there, I'm Ines. Welcome to my channel about UX design. The number of tech job postings is almost as low as in the beginning of the pandemic. But I'm not going to impose an anxiety on you, nor do I plan to dive deeper into the reasons why the situation is the way it is. What I'm interested in giving you is some pieces of advice about what to do with this situation. Because I have 15 years of experience in UX design and I have been there through different periods of economy, different periods of the job market, and I've seen it all. I have started in UX design in 2008 2009 roughly and you can imagine the situation was even worse than today because we have just gotten out of the massive real estate crisis the tech market was small in general and nobody knew what to do with designers in tech so the number of job postings for designers was even lower than today but then the situation improved but also went down multiple times actually i've been here during the rise of popularity for mobile applications in 2015 2017 then there was a pandemic time when companies were hiring massively and the period of job markets contraction and expansion it is something normal for me which is a bit different for people who are just starting in UX design and looking for an entry-level job because they tend to see it as a unique event to which they are totally unprepared now when the economy contracts and there are less jobs available it is of course a very stressful situation and I realize that many of you right now, especially if you are switching jobs, are finding yourself being annoyed and frustrated and again stressed of not having a job that you really want. That's why in this video I wanted to give you my honest opinion about the situation on the job market right now and give you some strategies or pieces of advice that I would probably do myself if I were in a job search right now. So let's go. So if you are someone who is looking for a job in 2024, there is one piece of advice I would really want to give you. And this piece of advice, don't do drastic actions. What I mean by that basically is to staying on the course of actions. Practically, it means not changing a job if you don't have an alternative. Don't switching from UX to another professional field because this professional field looks trendy. Of course, if you have really tried UX design and you don't like it, then by all means, go find what fits you. But if you like the job, if you see yourself working in it, switching right now to some other professional field like AI engineers, for example, which will clearly be very popular soon, means losing opportunities. Because even if you switch to AI engineering or computer science right now, chances are that by the time you will finish the course and will be prepared to work, the market will change again. And the field that you have picked, thinking that it is a blue ocean and nobody is looking for a job there right now, might be oversaturated really fast now. I know from my own experience that staying in a job that does not fulfill you and maybe not paying you so well, it's really frustrating. But nobody can guarantee you that you will find a job in three months, six months. Unfortunately, nobody knows that. And of course, it is really hard to learn UX design as your side project, not seeing a return on investment immediately. But this period is temporary for sure. And it is important to constantly remind yourself about it. I tend to see a career as a long-term investment. And as with any investment or with any asset, you first need to put there some energy and efforts before it starts paying you off. But UX design will definitely pay you off because yes, the situation on the job market is not the most pleasant one, but it's really important to see a bigger trend here. And the UX Bureau of Labor still projects the 6% increase year over year for tech jobs, which is a really high number. And compared to other industries, it is still a very good and growing industry. So in those periods of frustration, it's really important to see a bigger picture because it will allow you to endure the discomfort and stay motivated. By the way, if you like this video so far, give me thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. It's important for me and for YouTube algorithms. And we're moving on. The second piece of advice I would give you in this situation is to continue learning UX design every day. For some of you, it might be obvious and it is something that you are already doing, but I have also met people who have finished a bootcamp, they have few projects in their portfolio and they consider it to be enough. And only thing they do right now is they apply to jobs with the portfolio they have. It used to be a good strategy during pandemic. Basically, all you needed to have at that time were three projects in your case study, a bootcamp certificate, and even with the zero years of experience, you could have still land a job in companies like TikTok, Meta, Google, you name it. But it is not a case right now. 
when you finish your bootcamp, you should not stop your education. Continue solving UX challenges, continue learning something new about UX design, but most importantly, do hands-on work. So use this period of economy slowdown to become better in UX design. Because you know what? If you do so, you will also be more prepared to the job that will come to you. I've been here during the pandemic, as I said, and I saw a lot of junior designers join companies, but because they were learning UX design in such a fast pace and then they landed a job almost immediately, they were not prepared to it. They did not have a clear understanding what the job entails and I witnessed that many people were kind of surprised about what UX design really is about. The fact that you need to talk with people so much to manage stakeholders, those parts of the job were hidden for bootcampers because it's just a, such a short period of time to capture the idea about what this work is about. So the more time you will spend in preparing yourself to what is coming, the less likely you will be disappointed by it. And my third and last piece of advice for you today is to look at different types of employment. Because when the economy is unstable and companies do not know what to expect, they turn to a short-term planning. For that, they logically don't want to hire people because they are not sure that they don't have to let them go in a few months. And that's why during those periods, freelance is becoming more popular. Well, I know that for many of you, freelance might not sound like an ideal working situation, but it will also be temporary. And free Freelance will give you some real work experience and will allow you to pay bills. And yes, if you are in the beginning of your career, the clients you will be able to obtain will be probably paying you less than you would want them to do and they will probably be also very demanding. But I recommend you to treat it as a learning opportunity. You will eventually land the job that you like in UX design, but it will just require you some more time to do so during the periods of economic contractions. And that was it from me for today. I hope I could give you some peace of mind when it comes to looking for a job. And now you know that the periods of economy slowdown and acceleration, it is something normal in UX design, probably in any professional field actually. But in UX design, we have a clear advantage. We are dealing with cutting edge technologies. And the recent technology, AI, is just in the beginning. There are gonna be way more jobs and projects and companies, startups, that will be implementing AI-enabled use cases. And this is us UX designers who will be doing this eventually. If you like this video and you want to receive more videos like that, hit the subscribe button down below. And I see you in the next video.